Hey everyone, what you're seeing right now is a simulation of a famous cellular automata known as Conway's Game of Life. Today, we'll be walking through the basic concepts of cellular automata, and by the end of this video, we will have a working simulation in Unity. So what exactly is a cellular automata? At its simplest, a cellular automata consists of a grid of cells, each with some number of states. At each time step, every cell changes its state according to some rule. This rule is typically based on its own previous state and the previous states of its neighbors. There are many types of grids in neighborhoods, but Conway's Game of Life uses a square grid with the more neighborhood, where eight cells surround a central cell. The rules of Conway's Game of Life are as follows. A cell can be alive or dead. If a dead cell has three living neighbors, it will come to life in the next time step. If a living cell has two or three living neighbors, it will stay alive in the next time step. All other cells will die or remain dead. Let's try implementing this in Unity. First, we'll create a two-dimensional integer array to store the cell states. We will create two of them, one to store the current time step and another to store the next time step. The integer 0 will represent dead, and 1 will represent alive. Let's move on to our update loop. We will first iterate over every cell, then, for each cell, we will iterate over the neighbors and sum up their states. Based on this sum, we can decide what the next state will be. For Game of Life, a sum of 3 causes a dead cell to come to life, and a sum of 2 or 3 allows a living cell to stay alive. Let's initialize each cell with a random starting state and see what we get. As you can see, Conway's Game of Life has produced an array of complex, dynamic patterns. Let's take a closer look at some of these. The notable patterns found in the Game of Life are Still Life, which are stable and do not change Oscillators, which oscillate between several different states and Spaceships, periodic patterns that move through space, the most common of which is the Humble Glider. There are more types of patterns, but these are some of the most common. What's amazing to me is how such complex patterns emerge as a result of such simple rules. It would be interesting to look at even larger simulations, but unfortunately, the method we're using to simulate cellular automata is rather slow. Luckily, I have an idea for how to fix it. With our current method, the CPU has to iterate over each cell and its neighbors one at a time. Since the state of each cell only depends on the values from the previous time step, they can all be independently calculated. We can try to leverage the GPU to perform updates for each cell in parallel. This is where Unity Compute Shaders come into play. We can convert our two-dimensional array into a texture, storing our cell states in one of the color channels. Then, we pass this texture to a Compute Shader. The shader logic is very similar to our old code, but instead of iterating over all cells, we describe the update logic for an individual cell. Let's see if this change has sped up the code. It looks about the same, so let's increase the simulation speed. We're now getting a modest 1400 frames per second on this very large grid. I did make a more stylistic shader, but unfortunately it makes it a bit harder to discern the patterns in the cellular automata, and so I won't be using it in my time lapse. I'd like to showcase some other cellular automata that I've simulated by modifying the rules of Conway's Game of Life.
that's all I've got for this video. I do plan to make similar videos in the future where I explore a math or science topic and document my process of coding a simulation of it. If that's something you're interested in, please consider sticking around. And with that, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.